Welcome back, everybody, to Undead Legacy. Look in the upper right-hand corner. We are now on uh, version 2.6.17. Yes, indeed, I have now updated the game uh, to the latest version, and that is why we are in the dark, because our lanterns no longer work without batteries. All right, so, yeah, I, did, uh, I didn't really have any too much difficulty doing this. I, I backed up uh, not only my save game, but I also backed up my entire installation of un my previous installation of undead legacy just just in case uh, but uh, it seems to be working now so we are now in the new version you guys in the new version um okay so yeah i'm not uh i i i rewatched guns nerds and steel's video uh for the changes i i watched it the first time too uh you know back when it came out but i couldn't remember everything so i just watched it again and, uh, yeah, we have a lot to do just to even kind of get back up to speed with, um, <clears throat> you know, with the update itself. So I guess the first thing here, <coughs> excuse me, is we should probably maybe work on our power so we can get lights in here. Um, now, can we make the batteries? In fact, they don't even come up in the thing. I, do we just find those in loot then? Um, or, yeah, I don't know what the situation is with those. Because this is all that comes up when I type in battery. So, okay. Um, yeah, so I guess it, it makes, it's going to make sense for us to, to get our, our actual lighting in, uh, since we, you know, we no longer have our, our temporary lights. So I guess we'll work on that first. I know we have a bunch of workstations that we need to upgrade to. And I guess when we upgrade this, you know, the forge and the furnaces, they're going to be a much larger version, and we have to make sure we make room for the larger versions. Um, so, yeah, we'll figure all that out. I, I did a bunch of mining off camera before I started this recording and also before I did the the upgrade or the update. And so I've got um, uh, iron smelting in, in both of these guys and... Oh yeah, this one's faster because it's got the bellows, right? Okay, so let's um let's get this one going on steel ingots. Okay, so we got iron and steel going in there. Um, this guy is working on a whole mess of stone dust from large stones. This one's working on stone dust from small stones, which it's already finished making those. One of the things you know, I when we were setting this up, I was putting these middle chests in here to transfer stuff over, but we can make that um, that broadcast thingamadoodle that we can now put in our chest piece to extend the range of it. So hopefully it'll you know it'll work all the way across a room once we get that installed and have the the right um, level of it. Because I guess there's different levels that provide even further distance. Okay, so anyway, um, what were we doing here? Oh yeah, we need to put some more fuel in here. So yeah, it's gonna take me a little bit of time to to get up to speed, you know, with the changes. I, I would imagine most of you guys who are watching have already been on this version if you're playing Undead Legacy yourself, you know, for a couple of months because it's been out for at least that long. Well, probably longer even with the experimental. Um, but it's, you know, it's new to me, right? So um, I'll just, it, it's going to just take me a little bit to get up to speed. That's really what it boils down to. Okay, so anyway, we were, um, yeah, we're working on getting the metal smelted, and, oh, I know what, that's right, I was going to transfer half of this stone dust over to there, so let's make um, 1,500 in here. And 1,500 in here. Or close enough. Great. Um, now we can put that stuff in there. <clears throat> okay, yeah, so I think lighting's the first thing. Even even when, you know, morning comes, it's still not going to be super bright in here. So let's get working on that. So last time we talked about lighting, I think we had decided that what we're going to do is put our power room up here on the roof inside of this building here. Um, so, yeah, that is the plan. So I guess the first thing we need to do is that light's actually, uh, actually pretty bright. Uh, the first thing we need to do is get to the Jenny and the battery bank and bring it up to the roof itself. 
I think probably, you know, with the large engines that we can put in here, one generator will probably be enough to power the entire base, I'm guessing. Oh yeah, right. He changed the he changed the the chest now too. So we got the the new wooden types of chests. Those are cool looking. Do I have any batteries in here? I don't. Okay, so let's pick this up. And we'll pick up the Jenny as well. Uh, wait a second. Do I have... Yeah. My, I'm going to lose that fuel probably. Oh, well. Can't do anything about that. I think I will. Maybe it'll give it back to me. Let's just see what happens. Uh, no indication that it gave me any gas back. Yeah. Okay. Well, it's okay. It wasn't uh, a ton of stuff. We can no longer use the ladder system, you know, uh, encumbered. So that was one of the big changes... Of course, with the update and the impetus for us making the elevator system, but I'm actually really digging this elevator system. It's working great. I haven't had any issues with it at all. Uh, of course, you know, we brought the mining cart up here with a full load of stuff in it. Okay, so we're also going to need our uh, wiring tool. So let's grab that. And uh, we're going to need some wire, which should be in here. Uh, no, not in there, in this one. Yeah, let's just grab all the wire that we have. Um, you can put that stuff in there. And I guess I'll just hang on to the rest of that stuff for the moment. This is fun, man. I'm, <laughs> I'm, I really enjoyed, you know, I'm enjoying the update and looking forward to the cool stuff the update has. But I'm just enjoying this whole thing in general with us, um, you know, with, with what we're doing here uh, in the Deshaun Tower. And I'm really happy with how it's coming together so far. Uh, looks like our toolbar got turned off again. Um, I don't really like that. Uh, so let's see. Is that something we can fix now, or do we have to go do it in the main menu? Uh, UI. Uh, da, 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 lock inventory slot. Focus, action, hotkey, page up, next tab. Da, da, da. I don't see that in there. Is it in menus? Character skill, inventory, map score. Okay, where? Oh, tool belt, right here. Okay. What? Where's the thing that allows me to show the tool belt all the time? That's what I want. I guess there's been some menu changes, too. Previous slot. See, it does nothing's in there. Is it in miscellaneous? Push to talk, chat, invisible, da, da, da. It's not in UI? Okay, let me look again. Maybe I just missed it. Close windows, page down, previous. Lock inventory slot, secondary focus, page up. Hmm, is it global? Debug, switch view, screenshot. I don't have a gamepad. Edit mode. Uh, all right, that's like some, some building tools. Okay, maybe we have to set that in the main menu then, I guess, because um, I'm not seeing it here. Unless it's just popped in front of my face and I'm I'm missing it, which is entirely possible. Uh, it, wait, is it's not... Switch back audio. What, user interface video. Here we go. Okay. Two belt tips, auto hide two belt disabled. <clears throat> okay. There we go. Yeah, I, I'm not a fan. I, I I want that two belt there all the time, especially, you know, if I'm in combat or something. Uh, I get it. I, you know, it's more immersive, I guess, for some people, but it, it doesn't work for me. It's not my thing. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to put uh, both of these guys here in the corner. Um, well, I guess we can't put them in the corner because those are half blocks. So we'll put you there and we'll put I guess we'll put that there. Okay, and then we have um a relay up here, but I don't know do we need a relay up there? Yeah, we do if we want to go straight down to those lamps and hide the wire. Right, okay. So we need, to. if that's going to work, we're going to need two more of these relays. Let's see if I have any. I've got, those. yeah, I've got, no, those are insulators, those are parts. 
I only have the timer relays. I want the lights pretty much on all the time because, like I said, even even when it's daytime, it's still not super bright in here. Um, and these are all timer relays here. Can I pick these up? Yeah, let's just pick these up. I suppose we could use timer relays for now and then swap them out later, but how... What does it take just to make a relay? Ah, not, nothing at all. Okay, we're going to need probably a bunch of these, so let's just make ten for the nonce. And then we'll pick this up. Yeah, so we're just going to, you know, the next, may, I don't know, maybe next two or three episodes, we'll see how things go. Oh, it's nice. It tells us it's broadcasting now, too. Nice. Oh, wow, I still got stuff in here. Whoa, wait a minute. Okay, hold on. <laughs> we have relays in there. Okay. Cancel. Well, we have even more now. Um, Where did this stuff come from? It must have been from me looting when we looted on the lower floors a few episodes ago, I guess. Uh, let's grab the wires and, um, and the relays. We'll just leave the rest of that stuff in there for now. Okay, let's go back upstairs to the power room. I'm not sure how we're going to get the the relay all the way to the right fully lined up because this is in the way. Um, if we put it anywhere else, it's probably going to not come straight down and it's going to look stupid. So I guess this is going to have to come out and we'll put the, we have to put the relay here. Where is me jackhammer? Okay. Now we're gonna wire from you to you. From you to you. Okay. Um, we need to get the engines back in in here and we need to get some batteries in there. So let's do that next. So yeah, I, I don't know if we'll, if we'll be able to run the entire base off of one. Oh, that's heavy. Off of one Jenny. Here, can Great you, to see you, Master. Can you take one of these? All systems go. How may I help? Can you take two of these? Okay, that works. Those engines are heavy, man. Oh, I need, well, I need gas too, but I'm still encumbered. So let's get the engines in first and then we'll run back down and get some gas. Come here, Roberta. Ready for duty. I guess I can't shift click those in. Okay, so yeah, that's producing 750 watts. That's pretty good. All right, now we need to get fuel. I've got two things of fuel there. Let's grab these batteries, too, while we're at it. Am I too heavy? Nope. And we might as well turn um, these gas cans into more fuel. Oh, has he changed it? Poison antidote. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we're going to need those for the scorpions. That's right, we're going to have to deal with scorpions, you guys. This is going to be crazy. Um, I guess we don't make the fuel in here anymore, eh? Uh, or do I have to upgrade it? I bet you I have to upgrade it. Okay, what does it take to upgrade this? A beaker, that's what I don't have. Damn it, Jim. Okay, that's going to be a thing if we can't make gasoline. Um, I've got quite a bit of gas that I keep in here for mining, so we're going to have to rely upon this until I can get that upgraded. Wait. Oh, stop, stop. That's changed. That used to be a bag. So I've got all this fuel in here. So I think what we'll do is let's grab one more of these. 
and we'll sit on those other ones for now. Okay, Roberta, I need you again. How may I assist you? All right, let's give you some gas cans to carry because those are heavy. And you know what I could actually do and need to do is let's pull up here. Okay, where's Roberta? Great to see you, Master. Am I going to be able to pull with all three of these? Nope. Okay. How may I assist you? I can't reach the thingy from here, can I? Great to see you, Master. Can I pull with two of these? Yes. Okay. So let's open that up. Refuel that. Grab the other one from Roberta the Robotic Drone. How may I assist you? Roberta the Robotic Drone is very useful. Mostly for carrying stuff. In pretty much every other regard, she's not that useful. <laughs> Uh, okay, so that's fueled. Uh, now what we want to do is... Uh, <clears throat> can we just do this? Can I pull this down? Yep, I can while I'm continuing to hold on to the wire. Beautiful. Okay. What the hell just happened? I, I fell through the floor. <laughs> what? And sprained my leg? Come on, game. What kind of bullshit is that? Do I have any steroids? Yeah, I do. We don't got time for this, man. I was, I was like so confused for a minute there. I'm going, what in the heck? Where am I? All right, let's try that again. That was really weird. Okay, we want to connect to this relay. And come down to here. And then same thing here. That is so weird, you guys. <laughs> Why is it doing that? Subquick didn't change it so we couldn't pull anymore, did he? Well, I mean, obviously I was pulling, but I don't think it's Subquick's fault. I think something weird, just some bizarre crap's going on here, man. Some voodoo witchcraft's going on here. It looked like, though, that that block disappeared from underneath us. Alright, you know what? Let's do this, then. We'll put some supports there. Screw you. <laughs> I'm gonna make this work. Okay. Alright, now, let's grab... Oh, uh, Yeah, we're gonna have to go up one more, because I can't see that other relay. Okay. Fantastic. Okay, now let's turn the Ginny on. And let's put the batteries in here so they can start charging. 48 watts. Okay. Uh, I don't believe we need to turn this on to charge them. Or do we? Well, maybe we do need to turn them on to charge them. We, we want to find better quality batteries at some point because... Or maybe we have to upgrade them ourselves in the station. So we're drawing 23 watts now. Okay. Well, we'll figure it out. Okay. Um... <sighs> You know, I had talked to you guys a few episodes ago about how I didn't want to have to do another layer up here to hide wiring, but we might not have much of a choice unless we have the wiring in the crafting room exposed. Uh, let's just leave this opening here for now uh, so we can use it if we need to. Okay, so the lights are on. Let's pick these up. Oh, nice. I don't have to even 
do like the little radio menu hand thing. It just picks them up. I like it. Now, um, let's turn, change the intensity of this light. <coughs> so... It goes all the way up to four. Oh yeah, see that's that's too much. In fact, that's just one of these things too. All right, can we just type this in? Yeah, probably, we should be able to. Wait, can we? Oh, we can click. Okay, that's cool. We can click right in the thing. So let's just try two. I mean, that's still awfully bright, isn't it? I'm wondering if maybe we should just leave these at their default intensity and uh, put those lights in. Yeah, why don't we try that? Why don't we try that? Let's go back to here. And these are all just one, right? Or are they? Yeah, those are all just one. Because that's, um, there, I'm going to get rid of those. That, that's a, a pretty decent amount of light in this area, right? Okay, so we are going to have to remake these lights. And I don't mind those lights necessarily. So we could keep them as long as we can get the, you know, the brightness to, to work properly. Okay, so let's go over to here. Workbench. Oh, big menu lag. Yikes. Light. Um, electrical. Do we just make a, a light that we can change the shape on? Hmm. Because it's not showing anything in here, you know, even the stuff that I don't know yet. Resources, weapons and tools, mods. What? Where else would you make a light? Oh, would you make it in the artisan's table? Hmm. Okay, I'm going to have to look in the creative menu then, because I'm a little bit stumped here. Light. Recess light. I think that's what we had. Use the wiring tool to connect. Does it say where you make it? All right, well, we're going to grab two of those then. Basic light bulb. Industrial light bulb. Um, all right, but that's... Okay, hold on a sec. Oh, this... Hold on. I'm confused. Here, let's turn creative menu back off for a second. Okay. Now... I don't understand, guys. Why why can't I make a light? What am I doing wrong? I mean, if we have to pull it from the creative menu, we have to pull it from the creative menu, but you would think... Wait, does this upgrade again? Oh, actually, it does. This actually upgraded before. I just didn't have the stuff for it. I'm just going to look through here real quick the hard way. Yeah, I don't see a light bulb in there at all so let me know if it's possible for me to make these um and where i where i would do that but for now we're just gonna if we have to pull from the creative menu we have to pull from the creative menu it's just the way it is okay now um i think these were here right but you know what i might do is why don't we do three of these? Oh, 
Okay. Now we need to get them wired. Put our support blocks in in case the shenanigans start up again. Okay, so... Those, uh, are those one block over or two blocks over? They're two blocks over from the current relays. Okay. Damn it. Okay. Yeah, we have that same problem with, uh, these blocks in the way. I'm pretty sure if I try and run it directly off of here, we're going to see the wires. Well, maybe we wouldn't. Uh, I still, that's going to look bad though. So let's, let's at least put one relay here. No, you know what? I'm going to, oh, we're out of gas. Okay. Well, here, yeah, we'll put one relay here. It's, it's over another one, though, too, isn't it? Oh, no. No, that's right. Okay. All right. So what we're going to do now is hook up to that. And turn on. Okay. Yep. We, we'll change the brightness on those. Okay, that's working because it's not showing us the wires. I'm not really too worried about the wires showing necessarily in the crafting room, but we don't want them to show up in the kitchen. Okay, now... Definitely want to change the brightness on these. So... Let's bring them up to, say, three. On all three of them, and then we'll see what it's looking like. See, the thing is, is it makes the ceiling really dark now, too. And we might also need to change the range, too, which we can do. Okay, so that's three. That's pretty bright. I mean, it's very bright down here. It's just not bright up on the on the you know ceiling like the other lights were. Hmm. I don't know if changing the range is what we actually would want to do with those. Let's just see what happens if we do. I wish we could. I just wish we could see our, our ceiling a little bit better. I mean, when I turn my light on, we can kind of see it better, I suppose. But it still seems gloomy in here. You know? Um, so what happens if... Oh, there's presets. Candle. Oh. Oh, that's neat. 40 watt white, 100 watt white, halogen, carbon arc, high noon sun. Fluorescent. Warm fluorescent. This is really neat, man. Halide custom. Let's try, um... Let's try high noon sun. Nah, it doesn't really um it doesn't really change anything. Yeah, 
It's not an issue of not having enough light to do stuff down here. It's an issue of the room still kind of being gloomy looking. So we might want to experiment <clears throat> with some different lights. You know, we had put those fluorescent lights in before, uh, you know, a few episodes ago, but I didn't realize at the time that you could change all that stuff on the lights. One of you guys told me about that in the comments after the fact. So my, maybe what we ought to do is bring the fluorescent lights back and then, you know, play with the color on them to, to make it look, you know, brighter in, in the room as a whole. Okay, well, I'll tell you what, let's, let's just leave this the way that it is for the nonce because um, we need to get lighting in here. This is like our most important room. And I'm feeling fluorescent lights in here because, you know, it's a workshop, right? So what do you think, Roberta? Ready for duty. Okay, she's ready for duty. Um, so let's go into the creative menu, and these are the fluorescent lights here. That's a no. We don't, that's a light bay. Okay. Industrial light, fluorescent light. This is kind of the same light I think that's up in the power room. This 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 looks more like a shop light, which would be appropriate for in here. Um, let's also, though, look at, see, there's the schematic for a ceiling light, but you'd, you'd think it would come up, though, when I searched on it, even if I don't know it. Where was that bay light? Here. Um, or light bay. So let's grab a couple of those, grab a couple of those, grab a couple of normal fluorescents, and then we'll see which one seems the most fitting. Um, here, let me remove all these lanterns, too. I mean, I'm not opposed to continuing to use the lanterns, but I have to figure out how to get the batteries for them. I'm not sure if you can only loot them, and if that is the case, then that would not seem very sustainable in the long term. Or if you can also manufacture them. Um, okay, so... I'm going to I'm going to take these down for now too. We can if we need to, we can always put them back up later, but let's just take them down for now. All right. Now, what we're going to do is let me look at the bay light first. That takes up two squares. What in the heck? Okay, um... It's like the paint is interfering with it. I'm gonna need to make some more paint. This is... Isn't that supposed to be erase? It's not doing anything. Hmm. Okay, here. Let's pick the light back up for a minute. Are you supposed to have these hanging down? Nope. <laughs> what in the hell's going on here, man? Is there supposed to be a block above it that it hooks to so it hangs down? I don't know. I'll tell you what, though. That's more than, more than I want to mess with, so screw that. <laughs> We're not using those. I I kind of got a quick look at uh, at what it looks like anyways. I, I don't really like it. Okay, let's try the shop light. Get rid of that piece of shit. Yeah, see, I'm kind of digging that, guys. I'm kind of digging that. This is a shop, right? Um, the next question, though, is where's the center? So let's see, we're 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. If we go to here, so that means we don't really have a center unless we include this. Right, so, um, one, two, three, four, five, six. So this would, yeah, I guess that would be considered the center. All right, well, let's do this then. Let's put, let's just put our three in here and wire them up and just see how bright it is. And if we, you know, if we need to add more, then we will. Okay, so, now for wiring these dudes... Just trying to think how I want to do this. Um, okay, here, let's hop back up here. Are those on the same row as these? I don't know. I can't tell. Um, here. Let me go back down for a minute. I thought I had, had that figured out, but then I lost it. So, they're on, the, they're one block over from the opening. So they're running along. Yeah, they're, they're right underneath where my hole is there. Uh, but over in the other room, of course. Okay, so what if we were to do this? Why don't we... Um, bum, 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 bum. Trying to figure this out, man. Okay, let's pick. Let's pick that up. We're going to break this block out um, so we um, so we can get the wiring down through here, and I'll replace it later. We might even be able to get away with two of these if we can get the brightness and the range set correctly. We're thirsty and hungry. All right, let's go fix that. I've got a steak, potato, meal. And we're going to actually eat both of these. Quit your belly aching. Damn it, Jim! What in the heck, man? It's bullshit. Here, let's try it over here. Okay, so I'm going to put that relay there. You know what we could do, now that I think about it? Could we put a relay in like this? And then put a crop plot on top of it? No, we can't. It'll collapse. Shoot, that's too bad, because that would have that would have kind of solved that issue. Yeah, guys, we we might have to build a whole a whole nother floor up here before we can put our crops and stuff down. I really did not want to do that. Hmm. Okay, let's pick this back up.
It's almost too bad, you know, that that we weren't two floors down because we could wire the top floor. Don't worry about it, but. Uh, okay, well, we'll figure it out, man. We will make this work one way or to other. Um, uh, it, it, grab that. Like I said, I'm not necessarily opposed to the wires being a little bit exposed in here because it's a workshop. Okay, now let's go into here. Let's change the range to... Let's just max the range out and up the intensity to 2.5. Oh my gosh, okay. That's pretty bright. Uh, that's, yeah, that's way too, I don't know if that's the range or that's, it's probably the intensity. Let's knock that down to one and a half. Yeah, that's a little bit better. Some of this glow over here is coming from in the kitchen too. One thing I'm seeing with these lights though is they're, you know, they're only covering this area, which is, makes sense because that's kind of how they're designed. But what I want to do is I want to, yeah, see, that's the range all the way up. Type point spot, point spot. That is really cool that we have all of these blinking, pulsing, fluctuating, static. Shadows, hard, soft, none. Huh. Okay. So this could work, but we're going to need to put in more. Now, it does look, though, like if we, if we do the same thing here, so let's just bump the range all the way up and put the intens intensity to 1.5. Wait, is that what this one was, too? Yeah, 1.5. That does a that does a great job of lighting all the way across the room. It's just that we're going to need another set of lights over here and another set of lights over here, I think, for it to give us the coverage we, re we really want to have. Um, yeah, okay, so let's put one there, one there. And let's see, we go over two more blocks, one there, and one, no, not right there. Over this way, one. Okay, let's wire all of those up and then see how we're looking. I'm going to put more relays up above, though, for this. Okay, so we, we'll put one here, and we'll put one here. I I don't I don't see any way around it, you guys. I think we're gonna have to build another floor on the on the roof to do what I have planned. Because I mean, think about it. Eventually, we're gonna want lighting on the across the entire floor, and I just don't see how else we can do that without putting all of the insulators and all the wires and shit down in here. Um, you know, one cool thing about Alpha Twenty One, I'm sure everybody already knows this, but we'll be able to hide the wires in Alpha Twenty One. But I don't think we can do that yet, because that would solve. Uh, a lot of aesthetic issues anyways with doing all this. Okay, let's hop back down now. And we'll set these. Hey, wait a minute. Those, those are all turned off. Why are they all turned off? Did I overload something? Alright, guys. I'm back and... 
Long story short, I was puzzling over why those lights weren't working. Um, and the long story short is that I put a timer relay down right here <laughs> and it turned off all the rest of the lights. Um, so yeah, that's why they weren't working. Um, I actually recorded a bunch of footage with me scratching my head trying to figure out what the heck's going on and, but I decided just to scratch that footage to save time. Plus we're, we've, we got to end this episode anyways, we've gone along a little bit over um but yeah that's what it was so um i just need to oh i gotta get some scrap wire i just need to redo a couple things here that i undid when i was trying to figure this out um and then we'll see how the lighting is in here before we wrap up the episode here yeah i was just like scratching my head going why why aren't those lights not working but you know the the thing that tipped me off is that the three lights on this side that I had put the relay down, I, I picked that back up, but we're going to put it back down again, were working, but the none, none of the rest of them were. And I, was, and I finally dawned on me, well, the only thing that really would have caused that is a timer relay. And sure enough, I had put a timer relay there. And uh, it had run out of time at the moment that, or right before anyways, that I noticed that, um, wait a minute. Yeah, the things weren't working anymore. Okay, so that should fix those lights. I need to redo um, the ones in here. Just nerd pull back up there real quick. Hopefully we don't fall through the floor again. Uh, one more. Don't fall through the floor. Okay. Uh, wait a second. Okay. So these still aren't on. All right. What am I missing now? Oh, we have a break in the link. That's why. Okay, looks like they're on down below now. Yeah, we, we have a 62 watt load now, so that definitely means they're all working. Except for this one. Turn on. <laughs> uh, I probably need to rewire that one. Huzzah! Okay. Yeah, it's, it is really bright in here. Might We might have to dump down the intensity a little bit more, but... Oh, wow, look at how bright it is in here now. Yowzers. Um, okay, how about if we... This is a bit much. I don't know if it's an intensity thing though, or if it's just a coverage thing. Uh, it's an intensity thing. All right, let's just turn the intensity down to one on everything. Okay, see that's not bad, actually. That's not bad, except for that it almost makes me think That we should uh, it's a little darker in here so it's like when we should probably put some lights going down the corridor as well but if we're gonna space everything evenly here I'd have to move to 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 unless we have lights just yeah but mm, well yeah you know what though we're not gonna be able to put them right in the center anyways because of the way the blocks are in here so it's a little little bit dark over on this side, but this area over here is plenty bright enough. Let's tone down the intensity on these again, too. Oh, there already are. So maybe we should tone down the range on these, then. 
Because that's definitely bleeding through into the other room. Oh, look at that. It even shows us if we hold the mouse button down what the range is. That's kind of neat. Um, that's a little bit better because it's not bleeding through here as much as it was. Huh, okay. Well, um, this is a good start. Like I said, I, I don't know if I'm going to keep the lighting in here exactly the way that it is. I guess it's not bad, really. Um, what do I have this set to? Three and... What if we dumb this down to two? Yeah, see, that's better, I, I think. You know, it's not quite as intensely bright in here there's plenty plenty light i just wish there was more light up above though too maybe we could put a, a couple of fluoresc uh, fluorescent lights up there that might look nice actually um we'd have to move relays out even further though um in fact probably right along the the ledge so i don't know we'll, we'll worry about that later but anyway it looks like we got our lighting fixed in here and so um, what we're going to do, we're going to, we need to wrap up the episode here. Um, but what we'll do in the next episode then is we'll trying to think if I should just leave these out for now for other wiring purposes. Um, yeah, you know what? I think I am, I am going to leave those out for now. I mean, we'll eventually patch all that up, but we'll leave it out for now. But what we'll do in the next episode is we'll just we'll just keep working at you know getting our stations upgraded and i still need to move stuff uh into here and finish things in here i haven't even come back in here really since we did that episode a few you know a few times ago when we set up the armory so we got to get that finished and then yeah just kind of see where we are from there at some point we need to get out and about and check out the new you know monsters and stuff the scorpions I know we're going to need some of their stuff, you know, to make like the poison antidote and things like that. We need to take a visit uh, or, yeah, to the traders to look for some beakers because we need beakers for a multiple things. And, yeah, we'll just kind of keep working with the update and go from there. Guys, thanks for watching. hope you enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment, share out the video. We'll catch you in the next episode. Bye-bye.